and welcome to This Nitty Life. Um, my name is Rachel and come to you from Leeds, West Yorkshire. This is episode 48 of my podcast. I am squeezing in a quick podcast. Um, it is half term in the UK, so everyone is um, home in the next room. So I'm feeling incredibly awkward. Um, and by everyone, I mean my husband, Rob, and my kids, Martha and Theo. I have um, a small dog next to me who won't be without me. And the other woofy dog is um, hopefully okay in the living room. Um, so I've got quite a lot of things to show you today. Um, I've been meaning to podcast for a little while. Oh, also, you can find me <laughs> on Instagram as this underscore nitty underscore life. And I am reward on Ravelry. So I'll put some information somewhere there. I'm generally quite good at keeping my Ravelry up to date, actually. Um, not so much with stash. Um, but definitely with projects, I am I do keep that quite up to date. Um, but generally, I hang out on Instagram, and um, kind of showing what I'm up to, what I'm knitting, and the bits and bobs on my stories, and um, things like that. So yeah, it is half term in the UK today. Is February the fifteenth? Um, yeah, so we're right hanging through. I work um, as a teaching assistant in a school, so I have the week off, which. Um, which is jolly nice. So um, yeah, I've been trying to get as much knitting and reading done as I possibly can. Um, I'm desperately trying not to look over there, which is absolutely where I want to look and trying to look over there. Um, just If you see me leaning that way, I'm really trying not to. Um, yeah, so try to squeeze a podcast in. The kids are off um, to my parents' house imminently. So I am just uh, using the iPad <laughs> while I can. Uh, before my daughter takes it um, takes it away. Um, so I'm gonna um, jump right in with finished objects. So you saw this one briefly last time. So this is um, Black Elephant Yarn and this is the I Smell Snow Fade. So this is, um, it's a Gilmore Girls reference which I haven't actually seen. Uh, the lighting's better over here. Uh, yeah, so this is um, a cropped, this is a Tolster tea. Um, didn't actually write down who it's by, but I imagine you've heard heard of it. So I just did a plain normal raglan. Um, this is a DK one. So the kit that I got, well, mail I've just pulled up outside, so I wonder if that's for us. Um, the kit I got was um, 550 grams of DK. So this is how far it's got, and I've got like a sliver, a sliver left. I did definitely, um, I had to frog the sleeves because I hadn't done my yarn management properly, but the fade is amazing. She's very, very talented. And uh, Petra has actually um, put those up for, um, I believe, pre-order um, on her website. So they are available again um, on her website, should you want to get them. I think they come in 20 grams and 50s and 100s. Um, I do actually have, you can't see how many, I do actually have, um, I have it in four ply as well, um, in 20 grams. Um, funnily enough, um, when she first um, put them up for sale, I've been eyeing them up for ages and commented on Instagram, said, oh, I love these so much, I love these so much. And then I was just waiting for payday to order them. And she'd actually um, gifted me some. And then they got kind of crossed, crossed in the post and she hadn't told me. And then these four ply ones arrived and I was like, oh, I'm sure I ordered DK did I order DK? And then I was just really confused. And she'd sent it to me as a gift, which was um, so super kind. Um, for those who don't know, I am a... <laughs> now Peggy's gone behind there. Is that is that helpful? Uh, for those who don't know, I'm an avid litter, litter picker in my community and Petra is very, very um, into that, into saving the planet and all of that jazz. Very eco-conscious um, and just sent me a lovely gift to kind of reward my efforts in um, all that I do kind of in the in the community. I know, because you just can't, you can't quite get close to me, can yeah. you? You ridiculous dog. Um, so yeah, so I do have this in four ply as well. I think it's a 20 gram one. Um, she's trying to get on my knee. Um, so I have that too. I think I'm going to do a cowl with that one. But this was a super duper, duper easy pattern. I know my friend um, Fran of the Franny Do podcast um, has made several of these and I know that the pattern has uh, loads of adaptions if you want to do um, like eyelets and do things on the increases, um, things like that. Um, 
there's loads there's loads of options but it was a super duper easy knit um i've got a vest on underneath because i've just given myself a temporary tattoo which i love look at this so it's a temporary a temporary one um so i've got a vest on because i didn't want to um squish it as it was dry i just got this off amazon for like four quid for like a million but um i'm thinking of getting a tattoo done then i really like it so i've got a vest on which is it's quite it's quite an open neckline actually i'd normally have a long sleeve top on um but yeah, oh, speaking of tattoos, I don't think I've shown you my last one. I got this book one done. So it's a stack of books and some love hearts to represent what I like to read, is it a romance? I got, she's sitting on my chair behind me. I got some um, forget-me-nots, which is um, a representation for my granddad. And then a ball of wool. So I had that done in December. I don't know if I've shown you it or not. That's super helpful, Peggy. Can you move? Move, Peggy. Um, so yeah, so I had that done. Um, I think I'm getting these birds covered up because I'm not I'm not so keen on them. But yeah, I got that temporary tattoo, so that's um, looking super cute. Right, so um, let me jump in to what I have been working on because I've been quite I've been quite a busy bee. So this is my first finished object. Oh goodness me, I've missed one as well. Um, I um I have finished my litmus cowl which is kicking about, um, I think it's around there. I'll have to find it, just one second. Martha, come here. Right, so I also, I've also finished Martha's jumper, so she's gonna make an appearance. Can you come and show off your jumper? The wheelie bins are just getting emptied. Hey. Martha, move. My oh, she's a dog. Cameo. Special cameo. So this is the jumper that I was um, working on last time. I did an absolute hodgepodge of a pattern. Um, I really like this. Um, slower than that, please. Stop. Um, come closer. I did um, a hodgepodge of a pattern because I really like this zigzaggy design. Um, so this is, I think this might be Black Elephant as well, this navy blue. Uh, the orange is Fab Funky Fibres. And then this is dye candy and um, this is um fab funky fibers and the mohair and then this is jade palace she's got jade palace sleeves which mm. i absolutely begrudged sharing with her um so she is um quite a long bodied 10 year old um so probably going to do with another inch on but um do you want to get a little bit closer so you can see there what do we think Good. Super cute, right? Mm -hmm. So you've been enjoying that? Could you think you couldn't find my, you know, my cowl that I've just finished? My, oh. It's the long thing that I wrap around my neck and it's oh, rainbowy. Yeah. Oh, it I don't know. Can you go and try and find it with Daddy? Because I've finished that and I've sewed it up and I want to show that off. Okay. Right, that'll do. Can you go and try and find that for me? Yeah. Go on, small people. I've got two dogs and two kids around me now. Uh, yeah, so that was my jumper. That was all uh, generally um, two yarns held together, so producing a DK, basically. Um, so yeah, I'm really really pleased to have uh, finished that. She obviously had um, my life over finishing it. So now it's, I'm just looking at my show notes. So now it's done. So um, she's gonna see if um, we can produce my cowl, Robbie. Well, obviously I assumed it wouldn't be. Don't know. Just trying to fit this in before the uh, nip off um, up north, but I don't know if I'm actually managing this. Anyway, right, I'll do some uh, working work working projects. Um, yeah, that's the uh, whips. Yes, working projects. Um, so what have I been doing? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, um, can I <laughs> got servants today, Martha? Yeah. Can I just get the pink bag that sat by the chair? The, your chair, my chair okay. the pink the pink project bag that's got my rainbow thing in okay <laughs> novelty factor there's the adorable hello. hello okay um i'll show that second have you got it thank you right so this is what i was going to show first um so this is um it's called the simple sweater it's by tin can knits so I've recently discovered, um, just to, to give them a shout out, um, the app. Um, so they released um, they released the Tin Can Knit app 
maybe around Christmas time, if memory serves. Um, and it's so good. It's really, really good. Um, so it's a free app, so I download it. Doesn't matter if you can't find it. No. Okay. Um, so it's a free app and uh, what it does is um, it links up to your Ravelry. So if you've bought any of their patterns and their patterns at the minute are buy one, get one free and the eBooks, which is massive. They never do sales like this and they said they obviously won't for a long time. So that's absolutely massive um, to do that. Um, so the app, um, so basically it's hard to show without spoiling it, but um, let's see if I can go into it. But when you select your size, um, it literally just, um, it just shows, it just shows your size. So obviously when you knit a normal pattern, you've got to kind of follow, follow your size. So this is the app. Um, so I'm currently, so I'll cast on something new. So it says 14 fabulous patterns. Sorry, the ring light's getting confused. Um, and it's got like techniques, abbreviations, um, all the tutorials are on there. Um, so if I go into my, um, it's called Neon Rainbow. So this is um, what I am making. So it's got a summary of what it is. So it says what size I'm knitting, uh, what yarn weight I'm using and kind of how much um, that is. Um, so this is the jumper that I'm making. Um, and then it says a uh, simple sweater, learn to knit top down. And then it's got some of the construction. And then when you go into it, this is what sold me. Um, then it's like neckline, so you can do the ribbing first or you can do the ribbing at the end. Um, and so it says like work ribbing either in one by one rib and then so it's just literally it's paid for pattern. So I don't want to spoil it, but further down, it's like short row shaping or don't have short row shaping. And then it adapts the pattern like that. And it's so super clever. Separate for the sleeves. Um, so it's just brilliant. So sleeve shapes, do you want do you want them unshaped or shaped sleeves? So you can select which one you want to do. And it's just it's just brilliant. And it's um it yeah, I'm really I'm really impressed with it. So it's got like my knits at the bottom, of what I'm doing, and um, patterns. So it's got all the patterns that I've got. So you might be able to see here uh, the flax sweater. I've obviously bought um Marley, a Marley hat, uh, the world's simplest mitts. Harvest cardigan, love knot sweater, obviously have five million of them. And um, the antler toque, toque, that's a Canadian word, isn't it? The rye socks, yeah, so these are all the patterns that I own by them. So they've um, been transported in there via Ravelry. So you just have to sign in um, from, from your Ravelry. But it's really, really good. I'm really impressed with it. And that's a free app. You can just go and get that. Um, so absolutely highly recommend that. Really, really pleased with that, that that's been a great a great help because when when you read a pattern it's just so overwhelming i'm just trying to bring one up for an example it's so overwhelming um how many there are isn't it i i think personally so like well, that's a bad example because they're actually quite good um but um oh, and i've just remembered something else that's in the living room to show you as well this is annoying i'll have to show you next time so i guess um so this is how the pattern looks normally and then you've got to find your colour. So these are all the different weights. So it is a bit different because it's tinker knits. And then you've got to find your size. So um, it can just be a bit tricky and my brain gets overloaded quite easily. Um, so I love that. I love that. App. Right, so I'm going to show you what I'm working on. I'm super proud of this. Um, so this is amazing. Revel in the beauty. Look how gorgeous this is. So this is... The simple sweater so basically you can plug your numbers in so this yarn is amazing this is uh, what mustard made and this is a DK neon rainbow um, you might recall last summer I made um, a jumper in the pastel version so it was like a pastel neon wasn't it a neon pastel rainbow which was gorgeous so this is a round neck obviously um, and basically with the stripes it's so clever so it says like how many stripes do you want to do so i had 15 minis um and then it gives you a calculation of how to do it it's 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 so clever so it gives you a calculation Let's see if i can get it to come up and then it says like how many rounds to do on each one so just i can't speak highly enough of this app um it's really good 
So it says um, um, York option. So it says um, starting the York increase section and ending before the short rows, the York has worked over 55 rounds. To work the stripe, simply divide 55 rounds by your number of stripes, then round the number down. Work this number of rounds in each of your colour before returning to the main colour of the York. So to know that there's 55 rounds, but I don't necessarily need to keep track of them. So it says simply divide 55 rounds by the number of stripes. So I did 55 divided by 15, 13, whatever it was, and then rounded the number down. So I think it was four rows each, four rounds. Yeah, four rounds each of um, all of these colours. But if you've just got four colours that you're using, then you'll obviously have much thicker stripes. So um, the black that I'm using is um, Snuggly Stars yarn. I think it's called Coal. Um, so it's a black black yarn. So I've just been sat working down the body. I did quite a bit on it yesterday um, just while I was reading a book. But yeah, absolutely love this. I'm really pleased with how this has come out. Look at it. Jeez. I love it. So yeah, I would really like that. Um, I do have... Um, Tiny weeny weeny bits left, literally tiny weeny bits left um, of them. So what I'm going to do, some of them um, I used it all and I was, I think I was actually just shy of a full round in some of them, but only like literally by like this much. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a little bit of a cuff. So I'm um, planning on doing long sleeves and then just like a rainbow probably on one arm. Um, so this is the grey. I've got three of these kicking about, um, but I'll put them into little bags. So these are like the advent bags, just because the fade is so good that it was a bit tricky sometimes to check what went in what order. So these are like the greeny selection. I think they're the same colour. Um, so I was just kind of separate. So I just separated it down like that. But again, she, um, she has really released that again on her website. So I'm sure, I know it was was there. I think it might still be there. But if you drop her a message, um, I'm sure you can get on the list to make it. But and this is great with minis or anything. But obviously, thoroughly recommend Tracy's amazing yarn. I'm really pleased with this. I can't wait to have it. I can't wait to have it. I'm dead excited about it. So yeah. So I flew along with that. Like that yoke was just so fast. And um, uh, you might have seen it. Obviously, obviously, I put it on Instagram uh, because I did um. I pinned it all out because um, previously it had been, um, I tried something else. So I did um, on Instagram, I did um, pin it all out like this because I'd frogged it from, um, I started to do another garment in it um, and I wasn't feeling it. So I frogged it out. See if I, I don't think I've put the picture on, but there's all like my working projects pic pictures on Instagram that you can see, but just wanted you to see how, how it's looking now. So I did um, block it because it was a bit wrinkly because obviously I'd frogged it. Um, so yeah, that's how that's going. Um, so yeah, I was doing that, what else I was doing? And I was doing this at the same time. So my friend, I'm sure, I don't know if I showed this last time or not, my friend is due to have a baby, she's now overdue. And I've been knitting a little, um, this is a baby vertebrae. So this is um, in Drops Merino, um, big merino. So this is kind of like, um, Aaron size but um this is her uh, preferred color palette for baby so she's overdue now so I need to um actually get my finger out and get this done but the, yeah this is just a simple baby vertebrae hanging out in a gorgeous bag from Tracy for, oh, from Thimble and Thread I've had this for years uh, yeah so there's my colors so yeah I need to um I think I'm okay lengthwise now maybe a couple more rows and then I need to get the um, the ribbing on there. But this is um, something else I've been working on. So that's um, that's a really well laid out pattern as well. So you can do that in kind of, I think I think there's a free one, which is um, maybe a four ply or a DK. One of them's free. And I, I know I paid for um, like all of them. So you can have any, any weight yarn. So yeah, working on that for Keely, her baby is, um, imminent as is my nephew my nephew is um also overdue um so we are eagerly awaiting him i'm not knitting anything yet and um, but my mom has <laughs> so um yes so something that um randomly i picked this up like a week ago maybe a little sip of me i drink i picked something a week ago 
I was looking for something in my pile, pile of doom and um, I thought, I just came across this. I thought, oh, I really like this. I was so excited about it. Why have I not picked it up? So I picked it up and now it's nearly finished. Um, so let me go back to my notes because it's a funny name. So drops me green. So this is called Calope, C A L L, -L I O P E by Espastri Co. It's hanging out in a Christmas bag that I made because this was a Christmas knit. So I cast this on about a million years ago. Um, I think I was supposed to have it for Christmas 2022. So it started off red. Um, so this is um, mohair from Castleview Yarns and the yarn, which I've only got a tiddly bit left. So it's the mohair is Castleview Yarns and this is Pixie Yarns. Okay, so it's kind of like a cherry red. So it's supposed to be for Christmas. So the pattern starts with a really big rib. I've not actually tried this on, I really should. Um, so I'll stand up. So this is how it is looking. It is a super um, easy construction. Just have stand up, doesn't mean you need to, Peggy. So yeah, it's um, a big long rib. Oh, she's come behind me again. What are you doing? Super big rib. So basically I picked it up just before the purple. Um, you can see where it was. So this is how much I've done from this stitch marker. And I just kind of wanted, because it's been sat there, let me sit back down. Can you move please? She's all wet because she's been for a walk. Um, hang on, that goes over there. Um, so basically it had been sat there for ages. So I obviously, I love it, but I, I'd obviously lost interest. So what I decided to do to spark my interest again was to add some stripes. Um, so I added this um, purple colour. So this is uh, Princess Rockstar, which is Rainbow Heirlooms. And this is an also, um, this is a Castle View yarn, which I've got a love note in this colour. Um, so I added those together and I decided to do some stripes just to kind of shake it up a little bit. Um, so I think I did 10 rows. Um, it's really wide, but in my defence, um, I was a different size when I made it. Um, I'm just coming up to my uh, two stone award. I've just lost, I've lost two stone since I started doing Slimming World um, in September. So things are definitely fitting a little bit differently now, which is, which is, you know, for the, for better for my health, which is what the plan was. Anyway, uh, yesterday I sat um, and caught the sleeves up. So the sleeves are now in the same position. So I just need to kind of assess um, how much I've got left. Right. Well, that was a fabulous interruption. Um, brilliant. This is why I don't podcast with people in the house. A bit stressed now. Right. Anyway, this is how it's doing. Doing. I'm assessing how much yarn I have left um, for the sleeves. Um, I've only got a piddly piddly bit of the colours. Um, so I guess I'm a bit conscious because my tattoo is now so big and I'm in a school. Like I had my interview and these were on show, but as bizarre as it is, I forget that I've got these because I can see them here, but when I look at my arm, I can't see them at all. But now because that's literally here, I guess I'm very conscious of it. So I've been trying to do more long sleeves, um, but I've only got this much left. So that's imminent really, isn't it? It's imminent to be being done. So um, yeah, I'm really pleased with how that has turned out. Um, so that is the, um, it's from Espastri Co. I believe it's a free pattern on their website. So, right, I've got one more whip to show you and then um, a couple of acquisitions and then and then I'm done and then we can go. Right, right. next one. Gorgeous bag. Uh, this is sealed with a stitch. The book bag. Right, so something new to the podcast uh, that I never do. Never, ever, ever do I ever crochet. Like, never. But I've jumped on the granny wrap bandwagon. So have a look at this. Be impressed. Look how gorgeous this is. So this is the Castleview Yarns advent calendar from 2023. So this is the ice cream shop. So um, super duper gorgeous. That noise you can hear is Peggy licking the table like a weirdo. 
So yeah, cannot put this down basically. Um, so I saved the pattern. So it, this is stop it, please. Um, Hanabu Granny Wrap Hanabu's House. Um, so hers is actually in bulky, but basically, um, I've just copied the start of stop it the instructions, um, which is how to set it up. But um, my friend uh, Fran also sent me a link to how to do start a triangle basically because I'm really not experienced at all with um with crochet she sent me a YouTube video which was really really helpful hang on Let's see if I can get it up it's called how to crochet a granny triangle Let's see if I can skip this um well so it's just a tutorial isn't it how unhelpful is that um this is by, this is what I was trying to get to, this person, um, I can't even pronounce this at all, N-A-U-T-I-K-R-A-L-L -L crochet, but she has this great, this is the, this is the picture that you're looking for, how to crochet a triangle, so basically I just followed her tutorial, um, um, this is a DK advent calendar and this is a four millimetre hook, and uh, yeah, I can't put it down. Literally can't put it down. It's so addictive. I really, really enjoyed this. So I, I started this on Sunday. Today is Thursday. I didn't do anything on it yesterday. So this is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Obviously, I've not been at work. But um, absolutely, absolutely love it. So, so stinking cute. So obviously, um, Fran's done one on the Friday Do podcast. Uh, Bex is podcasting again after having her baby. Um, she's done one. Um... And she's got like a million more planned, which I can see why. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. So I think I'm about, um, I think I can, I think I'm on maybe day 11. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, I don't know, something like that. But her dye job again is so good that I mixed these ones up. So I had to frog it out and um, put these two the other way around because I did it wrong. Because her dyeing is so good. Um, so this is amazing, yeah. So absolutely, absolutely loving that. I thoroughly recommend it. I am absolutely a novice at crochet. That is the extent of my ability is to granny stripe. Um, so I'm really, really proud of myself for doing that. So that has been an absolute joy to make um, lately. So I've loved it. Um, so um, flying on, because I'm very conscious of the time. Oh, my beloved best friend. Got a new um, Kindle for Christmas. This is, um, I don't know what it is, a new fancy one. It's got a button to change pages, which is nice. Um, instead of having to swipe it, it's fancy anyway. Um, right, so I have some acquisitions. My first acquisition is this bag. This is not knitting related, but I thought you would like it. Um, it is from Paper Chase, who are now featured in Tesco. So it's got a gorgeous look, gorgeous rainbow on one side. And as it say, spread a little joy every day. So gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Pip just on the side. So I got it in Tesco, it's a fiver, um, but it's a really thick canvas bag. So what I've done is I've put my acquisitions in. So um, the Mighty Rainbow Heirloom had a fabulous um, sale um, last month. Um, so I jumped, jumped upon that. So I'll show you what I've got. And I do have plans for it. I did, I did plan in advance. Um, so I got these two gorgeous, these are sport weight. So for those that don't know, that's kind of like, it's in between a four ply and a DK, but this is quite, looks like quite a chunky, a chunky um, sport. Um, so it's kind of like five ply. So I've got that, that's um, that and this one, which I'm a bit obsessed with this color at the minute. So they had to go together and um, I wanted to make a carousel, which is by um, Tin Can Knits as well. So I've got those three. Um, again, as I said, I'm obsessed with this colour. This is um, Guilty Pleasure. <laughs> um, this is the sweater quantity. Um, a sweater quantity. Um, it's called Sweater. This is DK. Now Peggy's going to start snoring like a train. So that's super gorgeous. Um, one of my favourites is Killer Flamingo. So I got this on um, 
on the more hair. I do have um, singles in this as well. Not yet, Martha, not done. You finished your cereal? Yeah. Right, come and put it in here and then go and get ready. Um, we need to leave in like four minutes. Not stressful at all. Yeah, so I've got this gorgeous mohair. Go and brush your teeth, please. Okay. And then pack your toothbrush. Um, yeah, I've got this gorgeous one. I do have, um, I've got two, two skeins of the sweater in, um, in this colour. And I've got it in um, singles as well, because I love it. And there's Wilma trying to get out. And this one, which I don't really have plans for, but I just loved it. This is Wicked Pacific. Oh, look at this. It's so amazing it's so beautiful this is um merino light and this is 366 meters 100 percent superwash merino absolutely love it she's still got loads of things left on her website i am entirely tempted to go back for more um i've just been paid I've been paid a couple of days early i'm not quite sure why oh and one more that i did cake up already so this um i have plans for which i guess i'll tell you about next time because i forgot the yarn to go with it um, so this is another one um, of hers and uh, this has got silk in it actually and I really needed like a black black dark 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 colour um, in four ply and I needed a full skein which I didn't really have so this is um, you can probably see the silk in it and see the shine but yeah this is absolutely gorgeous and take that up yesterday so yeah they're, they're my acquisitions I do have another one but I forgot them um, just um, what else do I need to tell you Yes, um, I have um, ordered some yarn from the in Indie Club, Indie Yarn Club. So I know that uh, Fran was talking about that on her podcast the other day. She absolutely enabled me. I messaged her the other day um, and she um, shared this. Um, can you hear us, Nora? She shared this shop with me um, and basically it's um, called a selection box. So they do, it's... It, the, she does not she has normal yarn and um, but she's got a lot of clubs as well so she has um a neon club a speckle club and a blanket club which is like a semi-solid club and the selection box is all three so i think it's like 16 pound posted which is insane because i appreciate the cost of yarn has gone up considerably where like the average skeins like it's a lot isn't it now um but um so i've signed up for um a month of that I think you can do it on Etsy and you can do one or you can do it um, on her website where you have to subscribe. So I think I did it on Etsy. Yeah, I did it on Etsy. Um, I think it's £2 more. Um, and so that should be coming at, I don't know, at some point. Um, obviously, I know I've um, signed up to Spectrum before and I absolutely love her stuff, but I do have so much of it. Um, I am really tempted by the advent that they have on there as well because last year's was gorgeous on the Indie Yarn Club one and she has um, something uh, now basically if you start paying now it's like £13 a month um, so that includes shipping so that's really good So because obviously I appreciate people have just finished advents or working on advents and they don't want to have to do it again and it's like well it feels like I've just paid for one and I've just finished one and ugh but even when they go live in like April time, it's like three chunks of like £40, isn't it? So I do quite like it every month and I'm sure it's a pain for them, but I do like that. So like £13 a month kind of, dare I say, you wouldn't really miss miss that. That's not a huge amount, is it? In the grand scheme of things. Um, I know, privilege and all that. But yeah, so I am thinking about doing that, even though I said, I think probably last podcast that I wouldn't do another advert again but now I'm doing my granny stripe I really really like it um yeah so I've got that little club coming so I'm really excited about that and um, I have been looking at the East Angular um festival and I really would like to go um I was due to go and meet my friend but I'm not sure that's going to be possible now but um it's like a four hour drive there four hour back I probably have to stay over at least Saturday but ideally I would have wanted to have gone after work on Friday so that would be two nights so it's going to be like several hundred pounds just to go before I've even bought anything. And I really want to see all my friends. I'd love to see everyone. Um, but I just don't know whether that makes financial sense. And obviously, and I want, and I want a tattoo, which is a lot of money. I was also talking to Julia from um, the Knitting Podcast. What's she called? You know, Julia, German Julia. She's from Germany. Julia. Julia. Um, and she's just got an electric ball winder. So now I've obviously got a beam up on it about that. 
and she's got a really fancy one. I think she said about 140. I can't think what make she said it was. But if anyone has any tips about electric ball winders, I absolutely hate caking yarn. Um, I do have a really good, um, not Swift, ball winder. I do have a really good one. Um, I had the little plastic one before and then I um, upgraded to a metal one and it's really, really good. But I just hate it, just absolutely hate it. If there's an option in shops to have yarn caked, I will absolutely do it. Um, I did this one yet Tuesday and my arm nearly fell off. Like I hated it. It's just such hard work and I'm not like physically unable to do it, but I just hate doing it. Um, so I am debating that too, be my bonnet potter. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Um, so hopefully next time I will have the cardi finish, it will probably be gifted. I'd like to have something for my nephew and um, that granny stripe blanket is on the case. Um, that's doing really well. My stripey jumper is super nearly finished. And then what I would like to do again is pick something out of my whip pile, which is humongous. Um, I've got a gorgeous radiate, which is a Hohi Locatelli pattern, which is about this far in. Um, and it's quite a concentrated one, but I would really like to pick that up again because um, that's super gorgeous. Um, other plans, I do have some plans to do some de-stash. I've got loads, loads and loads of yarn um, that I'd like to have a bit of a de-stash. Um, so that's kind of um, some, and then I can de-stash and pay for either a yarn winder or a shawl or a tattoo, um, anything like that. Anyway, um, I think that that's literally all I've got because I'm now going to be late to meet, meet my parents, which is just a fabulous. We kind of meet them, um, we meet them, it's absolutely not halfway at all. It is, um, in, we meet them in Knaresborough. So I'm in Leeds, uh, they're in County Durham, so near Darlington. Uh, Nairsborough is not halfway at all for them, it's much further. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to go meet them. That's where we meet them, we meet them in a retail park <laughs> and literally dump the kids. And um, But we're not packed at all. So this is going to put me grossly behind this podcast. So I super hope you appreciate it. Um, if you want to know what this is, this is my gorgeous advent, you know, Valentine's Day tree that's just sitting beside me. Um, these are Christmas decorations technically, but super cute. Right, so thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate everyone who's stopping by. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Uh, I hope you like my little interlude um, from all of the children. Um, like I said, um, the iPad's getting taken away, so this should be out over the weekend because when she brings it back, uh, get it sorted maybe on Saturday or something like that is the plan. Um, but yeah, I really um, appreciate you hanging out with me today. I know there are a lot, a lot of podcasts to watch, so um, thank you very much for um, taking the time to watch to watch a little bit of mine um i do really like it so let me know what you're working on maybe if you've got any any plans for this year um would you like a bit of a whip along in terms of like an old whip um like i'm trying to focus on one a month so that's been that one and then i'm going to try and pick something else um i really like my penguano finished so yeah right so again this is where you can find me i'll put the things here again uh ravelry on and instagram and um thank you very much for hanging out with me today and um I'll catch you again soon, hopefully. Thanks a lot. Bye.